Welcome back, everybody. It's time for more of the San Diego Surf My League series. Thanks for returning and watching another episode of this incredible journey that I have set out upon here on NBA 2K19. You are watching the very last place team in the Western Conference, sporting a 9-27 record. However, our best basketball has been recently. We had a 3 of 4 game stretch where we won games that was kind of cool and then we came close to winning again against the heat i'm not sure who i want to play today i think i'll sim the first few games get us into the first couple weeks of january and pick things up but before i do that i have to sign somebody because i gave all of you the control last episode to basically I'm going to give you control from time to time in various series that I do and we're going to go just by the top comment system and last episode I said who should I sign from free agency and the first time I checked which was the first day the video had been posted I believe the winner was Patrick Beverly so I went to go check again before recording here and I'm like okay I expect to sign Patrick Beverly why do they want a veteran point guard but no now everybody wants Kavon Looney who is much younger and he can play a little bit of center I know he has for Golden State I'm pretty sure yeah power forward slash center and I think he's a good fit for what our team actually needs Although it's going to be a little more expensive than I would like to pay unless I can knock this down a little bit. Not sure if it's really all that necessary. And Looney will join for 6.6 .6 million. So my negotiating skills appear to be top notch today. We have ourselves now someone else to add to the rotation who has a pretty good close range game and mid range game. So Looney is a good mid-range shooter. It looks like he's also got good layup ability and a little bit of dunking ability as well. How about the defense, though? We are horrible with that. Good offensive rebounder? Not so good on the defensive end. Okay, I'll take rebounds wherever I can get them. Good at boxing out. Yeah, he might not be a bad player to develop and get signed to a multi-year contract after this is over. We'll have to see. But he's played on a good team before. That can only mean good things with adding Kevon Looney to the San Diego Surf. We'll take away a few minutes from pretty much everybody, just so everybody's staying fresh. We don't risk injury as much. So I'm not sure if Looney will play a ton right away, but we'll start him off by getting around 11 minutes a game, and then we'll kind of go from there. I want to see who can continue to stand out at these spots. If I go with this rotation... Will Looney play mostly, he'll play power forward mostly. I think that I'll want him to play center at some point, especially when we get Frederick Wilcox back, which ought to be sometime soon. Still two to four weeks out on Frederick Wilcox, so probably not going to see him today, but we are going to sim a decent bit. Let's go to January 10th and hope no one else gets hurt. We beat the Jazz! How? We're getting these top players mostly scouted, so we're going to have a great idea of what these players have to offer. Let's go to Sean Cannon, who is first on the Draft Express big board. Small forward, shooting guard, that would be a good uh, position for us to target. Cannon's ceiling is Sean Marion. Not sure if he'd have Marion's uh, shooting animation, that'd be something to get used to. And then the floor is PJ Tucker. So his ceiling is all NBA, his floor is at least being a decent starter. Not too bad, he's 19 from LSU, he has good hops, he's willing to make the tough plays on defense, if properly utilized can help out nicely right away. Larger players have an easy time moving him around the low post and below average low post scoring ability, no medical concerns. Scoring 17 points a game, getting a little bit of everything here. Got some steals, some blocks, shooting 46% from three. And it looks like he'd be another good outside shooter for us if we want to build a team that's good for that. And also that perimeter defense would also be nice. So Cannon, someone we'll keep an eye on. And we'll, we'll go through the board. You know, maybe a prospect or two every episode. And we'll just keep scouting the, the top players. I know that there were some comments saying, just tank and get the best players. You realize who I am, right? I'm a football guy trying to figure out basketball. 
I don't even need to try. There is no trust the process here. We're not the Sixers who are like, we're tanking and we're going to show that we're good at it. No, I'm just going to lose games naturally. There's no concern about me like ruining our lottery odds. But hey, we got our 10th victory here against Utah. Just want to see who's doing the work for us. Jay Crowder, 26 points and 13 rebounds. And Kavon Looney got 11 minutes, 4 points, no other secondary stats. I think some of you wanted to see Awandu get some playing time. We'll see if we can find some minutes for him. Things are getting more crowded now. As we lose to the Heat the next game, we get 18 from Brogdon, 17 from Deadman, who seems to be in pretty good form lately. Both him and Tony Bradley I've been really happy with. Looney, 4-4. Four and four. James Harden only scored 26 on us. I'm going to call that a moral victory. And then against the Pelicans, 19 and 21. They still have Anthony Davis, but he was outscored by Drew Holiday and Julius Randle. Well, we had 17 from Malcolm Brogdon and going down here for Looney. Still getting 11 minutes perfectly. I like that it's pretty reliable. All right, let's play against the Grizzlies here. It's the year 2020. The Grizzlies are 20 and 20, and we have 20 less wins than losses. Let's go. Now that I think about it, we have seen this team before. I'm trying to get a lot of team variety, but we're playing Memphis again. I think I'm better, though, now than the first time I had played the Grizzlies. And here we go. Let's get it underway, everybody. Didn't uh, finish too strong against the Heat, but still had a lot of fun with it. As we almost came away with the victory. Here's Brogdon. As he misses his first shot of the day. Got in a bit more practice here before the game got underway. Give me that. Oh, come on. Conley kicks to Valanchunas. And we'll get this. But uh, getting familiar with some more moves here. So hoping that you know, things steadily improve. I think soon I've got to get better uh, with the post game though. Because I haven't really done a lot with that i'm not really as confident in the post my whole plan there is just um give it to someone who has high ratings and hope they can make tough shots while well contested and that works when you have carl anthony towns that doesn't work when you have Dwayne deadman oh come on that was my fault wasn't it i was really happy though that last episode i was able to draw a lot of fouls and actually take some free throws so i'm hoping i can do more of that today so Brogdon's going to go all the way across. Doesn't get open. I'm low on time. Here we go. Deadman, turnaround jumper. No. Conley floating over Mills. And Memphis up 6-2. All right, Brogdon. Let's show that I have some moves now. I have a couple at least. Bolden. Oh. They're trying to do moves. Or trying to get uh, in position as I'm doing other things there's a very poor communication on this team come on brogdon i see you deadman trying to help me out that works for me trailing by six now in the first quarter driving with brogdon all the way see i'm not sure why i just couldn't try some of that in my early games i was definitely overthinking it oh patty patty there you go there you go nice pass deadman that's what I'm talking about right there. I also like some of the freestyling here that's happening automatically with guys just, you know, setting picks for me and running to spots. Just trying to create something. Makes it nice to uh, get into the flow here without being overwhelmed. Here's Deadman, a little mid-range action now. 12-10. I feel like I keep forgetting about... Jay Crowder when I'm playing offense. Someone always disappears when I'm playing. That's intercepted. Patty Mills, this is all you. Tie it up. Let's go. Oh, that's knocked away. Oh, Valanchunas still got it somehow. And makes it a two-point game. Brogdon right there. Let's take the three. Why not? Seemed like a decent time. I've actually been watching a little bit of basketball as well this week, just and paying a little more attention. Like, okay, how can I try replicating some of this on 2K? And um, you know, I don't really know the question or the answer to that question quite yet, but it's definitely 
uh, fun getting more familiar with the game now. Uh, I shouldn't have brought the defenders over there. That's my bad, Patty. Another one here. Conley in his face. Not my best possession of the day. Shot clock winding down. Anderson to Dylan Brooks. And the turnaround jumper won't fall. As we are halfway through the opening quarter. Brogdon take the two. Money. All right, so I was watching the Warriors and the Timberwolves last night. We're going to pause the game here because I got to describe this play to you. There was this play they had, the Warriors, where I believe it was Kevon Looney would pass it to Draymond Green. You know what? I drew it for you, so I don't have to just describe it. So here are my Microsoft Paint skills here at work. You know, it, it would have been better if I could probably freehand it. This drawing isn't necessarily to scale, but you should get the point. So the ball starts with the guy that's here near the line. And for the Warriors, I think it was Kevon Looney, who's now on our team. And he passes it down to Draymond Green. Looney sets a quick screen as Curry runs around that screen. And then Draymond gives him the ball and he nails the three because it's Steph Curry. Where can I find that play? What is it called? I think that I'm remembering it mostly correct. If not... You'll probably be able to figure it out anyway based on my uh, my description. But I really want that play. I liked it. And now that I'm playing 2K, I can understand things maybe a little bit better. There's Patty Mills nailing the three. I know our team's a little too old, but I think Patty Mills is someone who's got to stay. I like playing with them, especially after that game that uh, we won thanks to my abilities with Patty Mills. Now that I think about it, it might have even been a play where Curry passes it to Green and Looney sets a quick screen and Curry just runs around it. I forget exactly the full motion of it, but it was definitely, um, you know, a nice little quick play to open up a, a three-pointer. Here's Sean Livingston coming up empty. Six-point game. Brogdon's open. It's a two, and it will not fall. Nice play by Dylan Brooks. Okay, we're falling behind by a little bit here. I'll play one more possession on offense. That was a disrespectful shot attempt there. And he's going to get his own rebound and launch another one. Dylan Brooks makes it an 11-point game. All right, that's my cue to simulate. Hopefully, we can make a game out of this, though. I'd love to get back into it in the third quarter. We did cut this down to a five-point lead in the first, though. And a lot of back and forth action here in the second. So I'm feeling pretty good about this game now. Oh, what happened? Suddenly the Grizzlies come out of halftime angry and they're up by 20 points. And okay, we're not closing that gap then apparently. We lose 103 to 87 to Memphis. And Deadman had 18 points, 10 boards, a double double for Jonah Bolden. Not our best day. And Mike Conley had a good day against us. I knew he would. Let me see our team comparison. Three-pointers were pretty even. We had very few points in the paint. Yeah, this is where we went wrong, though. That third quarter, we shot 4 of 22. That wasn't even me. So there's another loss. I refuse to play against the Lakers again this season. Let's go all the way here. Will there be a chance for Wilcox to return here late January? Either before the Pistons game or the Timberwolves game. Alright, we got more scouting to do. So we drop our games to the Mavericks and the Lakers before defeating New Orleans. Hey, Frederick Wilcox has fully healed. He's back. They're suggesting 19 minutes though. I feel like that's too little. Is he actually 100%? I like how it shows his past injury history, though. So we're always going to be able to remember that it was a severe ankle sprain for him. I think that we can give him more than 19 minutes. We'll go 26 right now. And our rotation gets a little bit deeper. Deadman's a little tired, so we're going to take away some of those minutes. Still simulating that game, though, against the Lakers. And we get four days off. Four days off. No! not doing that in the first game back though for Wilcox he did have 13 points five rebounds two assists just good to have our star back and I've been trying to you know get better at the game and now I feel like I am getting better 
but I haven't even like played my best games with Wilcox healthy and ready to go. Today, I finally can. This matchup stinks. I don't want to play against Griffin and Drummond. We're going to do some Simcast action in this one, though, and just see if we get an interesting game into the second half. It's tight in the first quarter, mostly. And actually, they win that quarter by nine. Third quarter, we might have a game here. So let's go late third quarter here. I'll try to get us, you know, keep us in the game, make something happen. But let's just see where everything is at right now as they're shooting free throws. That's just wonderful. And for us, Malcolm Brogdon has 14 points. Jay Crowder, 13, 12 for Bradley. Wilcox, still healthy. Five points, though. We'll try to get him some more. And meanwhile, Trey Burke has 11. I assume that Griffin and Drummond would be getting a little bit more scoring, but just wait. Now I'm playing. They'll finally get their, their workload. No issue there. Kavon Looney grabs the board, and here we go. Patty Mills will take it. Wilcox is back. It feels so good. Who's setting the pick for me? Thank you. Oh, Kavon Looney. Oh, come on. How did he not get that? He had decent positioning. How did I not pick that off? All right. Good start. I see you, Brogdon. Not a bad attempt there. How about off the screen? Brogdon again. No. Oh, Looney. Offensive board and the foul. That's one of the things he was supposed to be very good at. And now Andre Drummond has four fouls. So maybe I could try to, you know, would it be a good idea to maybe give Looney a few more opportunities to maybe get him out of the game? That might be a decent strategy for us. Looney. Missed both. He has 60 rating and my... Obviously my shot isn't great. I very rarely get a perfect release. How often are, I, are you supposed to get a perfect release? Because I don't do it very much. Robinson driving. Oh, that's clean. That was all ball. All right, Brogdon. Looney. Okay, you're going to go to this side. I see you. Here's the three. And no good. So I know there's a way, actually, you can specify which side you want the pick on. The control in the manual, the in-game manual, is kind of strange. It just said L3. Didn't really show you a demonstration. So it must be like L3 and tilt the stick where you want it. I don't know exactly. Kind of a strange control. Wilcox under the basket, left-handed finish he's back there's my first bucket with him in a few episodes drumming to robinson trying to box him out with looney and we grab that board all right i need one of my guards to get over here for me here oh i am controlling brogdon never mind i was really confused for a moment wilcox oh that's right he's not a very good ball handler at all here we go looney this is going to be all you here we're going to back down Drummond and Looney, the mid-range, or that's more short, I think. Come on, Looney. Kick it out to Crowder. He's got the three. Come on, man. Quarter over. But hey, I'm liking Kavon Looney's rebound ability so far. What can I do here in the fourth quarter? Down seven. Pretty similar scenario, I think, to our game against the Heat, where I was trailing by a few... Kept it close for a while. Here's Evans launching and Drummond grabs a nice rebound. Blake Griffin finishes. There we go. There we go. Give it to Looney. Is that mid-range? Yes. He nails it. Let me get my ratings back while I'm at it too. That was a cool little uh, sequence on offense. Mills has no points? What is he doing? If he doesn't have any points and two rebounds and no assists. Patty Mills always gets production. What's this? Jackson pulls up from deep. Nope. Here we go. Wilcox. Long pass. Oh, I didn't want Looney necessarily. I wanted Wilcox to take the three. No. Brogdon, good fight. Apparently it's off him. I'm already kind of wanting to give Looney a few more minutes. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Especially if Deadman's not going to play as much. All right, only a matter of time before they saw what happened there. 
Can't let this get out of hand, though. I want to make a game out of this one. Here's Looney. Come on, Drummond, foul me. Nope. He lets off. Oh, Drummond feeds Robinson, who scores on Crowder. Hard to cut into this lead here. We're working on it. Brogdon. Go to Looney. Let's keep him involved. Oh, Patty Mills. We got blocked clean. Man, Mills can't get a point today. Griffin draws a foul. Well, that was pretty cool. Alley oop to Andre Drummond, and the Pistons are pulling away in Detroit. Can we give Patty Mills a point, please? Just one. Just one basket here. Almost lost the ball. Yes, a reach. Thank you, Wilcox. Opening up Brogdon for the three. But no, it will not fall. We need those. Here's Evans driving on Crowder. We'll give it out to Blake Griffin, who's covered by Brogdon. This does not seem ideal. Oh, Drummond got that. Our defense keeps getting the wrong uh, matchups here. Jackson pulls up, and Drummond finishes the job. Okay, this one is slowly, or maybe no, quickly getting out of hand, actually. Here you go, Wilcox. You got that right there. Nice little ball movement action there. Can we get some stops thrown a three? I want to just get a little run. Oh, Griffin took that. Wasn't a good idea. Come on, we got to get Patty Mills some stats, Jay. He could have had that. Mills will drive, give it to Wilcox, and he's going to draw the foul. Horrible release. Just terrible. That one a little bit better. Okay, 12-point game now. A double-double for Frederick Wilcox. He actually got to the 10 rebounds before the 10 points, oddly enough. And now, uh, okay, Wilcox, I don't think his defense is very good. I think Wilcox is the one that keeps messing up defensively. Maybe I'm wrong. He can mostly make up for it though on offense, just not there. 14 point game. Okay, who's supposed to cover who? Our defense is very disorganized today. Evans almost lost it, gets it back. Robinson needs some Gatorade, that's why he's stalling right now. And he's going to lose the ball to Jay Crowder. He goes Wilcox. Foul me, Blake. Foul. Oh, he did a good job slowing me up right there. I don't like that. Whoops. Did not mean to pass it to Mills. Wilcox, he's catch and shoot. He can't really uh, do a whole lot else. Someone going to come all the way around here? Oh, I wanted to pass it to Brogdon. Oh, man. I thought I'd at least be able to do that. So that was a horrible offensive possession. Could have been okay, though, if I could have just given it to Brogdon underneath the basket. I assume sometimes where the ball is going to go, and I'm usually wrong about it. Give it to Brogdon. He's going to take the three right there. Yes! 94-83, not done. Drummond guarded by Deadman. Oh, Griffin. He's open in the paint. Oh. I bit badly, and Blake easily makes the basket. He's not making many mistakes, Blake Griffin. All right, Patty. Brogdon wants this one. Will Mills get open? Will Mills get open? Not yet. Here's Deadman. What? You got to at least hit the rim from that close. All right, Evans. Nice play. 15-point game. So can we get stops? We have five minutes to pull this off. There's Griffin. Yep. Am I supposed to cover Griffin? Because I'm pretty sure Patty Mills is like six foot. I'm pretty sure Wilcox is supposed to just not create a mismatch for us there. Is that just Wilcox with bad ratings or am I not understanding it correctly? I don't think that was happening. Illegal screen? All right, that was a good time. We lose to the Pistons by only 18 points. 
Griffin had 27 points. I think a vast majority of those came when I was actually playing. For the surf, Brogdon 19 points, Crowder 18. He does really well when I'm not controlling the game because he always just disappears from the offense. Frederick Wilcox, 13 more points today, but I think that defensively, we might have some serious problems with Frederick Wilcox. Can we see the ratings for him? I'm not sure which one I would want to uh, take a look at here, but obviously there are some issues with us getting uh, mismatched on defense, and it's just not a good time. His on-ball defensive IQ is below average. His low post is average. Yeah, his defense is just below average at this stage. Carl Anthony Towns isn't starting. This could be a game we might actually win. So we'll just see if we can put together a decent game against the Wolves and again jump in late, hopefully try to win it. But the Wolves have the early advantage even without a couple starters. They had a lot of backups it seems starting today. I'm not sure their injury situation I want to get to the fourth quarter roughly there we go it is a one point game this is perfect just want to see who they actually have active and healthy they have harry man who is he he's a shooting guard and it looks like you know he's decent at a lot of this stuff he can hit the open three he is he was their draft pick in the second round this past uh off season so Harry Mann, they have Dario Saric, they have Anthony Tolliver, Jeff Teague, Tyus Jones, Seth Curry after passing on Steph Curry in the draft twice. I'm not salty about it though. Um, yeah, and Carl Anthony Towns not playing, sprained right knee. Is there a big problem here with Cat? He's day to day. All right, cool, you can check all that stuff like that. And I'm ready to play. This should be fun. What do we got here? Patty Mills. Let's get the, the numbers up there. Mills. Trying to create something here. A little step back action. Oh! Almost got the rebound and almost stole it back. We failed on that one. Feeding Teague. That misses. Jay Crowder. I'm not forgetting about you this time. It's a three. It's Jay. He hits it. And the surf take the lead. Oh, if Wilcox has to match up against Wiggins, I like this a lot more for him than anyone like Andre Drummond or Blake Griffin. I'm starting to wonder if small forward is the better spot for him just because of his limitations defensively. Here's Crowder! Nope! Mills got the board? Did I see that correctly? Patty Mills got that rebound? Almost threw a pick. Now I'm going to call for a pick. I don't know if I have time for this. Patty Mills, quick three. Nice quick release on it, too, but no basket. Nice move there by Jeff Teague. And we're back to a tie game. Ten and a half minutes to go. This should be a fun uh, finish here against the Wolves. Where are we going with this one? Patty Mills, all the way, perhaps? Yes! That's a nice play by Jeff Teague. Okay. I made him look terrible in my Timberwolves series I tried doing last year. I feel a lot more comfortable with the game. About as comfortable as I have ever felt, really. Crowder wants the ball, apparently. Don't see what we're exactly attempting to do here. I got a little bit of time, though. Didn't really work there, Deadman. Oh! Did not mean to pass it there. I have too many inadvertent passes. It happens way too often. Harry Man misses the shot. Would have been a two. Brogdon, the open three. Yes. Nope, it was a two apparently. So Brogdon's at 18. I'm pretty sure he's our highest scoring player on the season now. I'll have to check after this game is over. And nice defense here by Deadman and tipped out of bounds by Wilcox. So I guess the backups are going to get a few more minutes now. Della Vadova checks in. I think a couple others. Oh, good defense under the basket. Let's push the floor here. Brogdon, the three. No. I think Deadman could have tried a little bit harder to get that rebound for us. Harris kicks the Jeff Teague. That's a two for the tie. And Wilcox successfully boxes out. Not bad. 
Crowder. Wait. I didn't. I just passed it to a guy who was out of bounds, and I did a no-look pass, too. I'm the worst 2K player on the planet. Part of me felt like the game was going to save me from actually passing to a guy out of bounds, but they did not. Green set, Wiggins driving, pulls up from short and banks it home to tie things up. That's their... They don't lead. It's tied up. And they led in the first quarter a bunch. What are you talking about, 2K? Wilcox, this is not his game right here. Trying to draw the foul, maybe? No good. Good try, Frederick. And now the Timberwolves do have the lead with seven and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Down by two. Crowder, you want it? You have it. Right there in the foul. No basket, though. Can I actually hit these free throws now? Come on, Jay. That's nice. Come on! That's late? That's early, if anything. I don't know if my TV's just got a weird input lag here. I should be playing on a monitor. Probably will one day. But maybe that's part of why I can't ever hit an excellent release. One point game now. Oh, Wiggins pulls up from deep and nails it. That's the Andrew Wiggins that Timberwolves fans want to see. Four point game. Wilcox driving on Dario. Fouled. I can't hit a free throw with these guys. I'm having no luck today. Here's another one that actually does go. Three point contest, 642 left. We're going down to Wiggins in the post. Uh oh, cutting to the basket. I should have been able to pick that off, but recovered well enough defensively. Here's Crowder. Crowder with time winding down. Can he get us something here? No, almost. Three-point game for Minnesota. Dario to Wiggins. That was a really cool shot. Ooh, double screen action. I like it. And we'll go down to Deadman. Nice job. Had to readjust that shot. Three-point game again. Wilcox trying to play some tough defense. Wiggins gets it and draws the foul. He's been the Timberwolves offense, and without Cat, that's who they need to step up. He's doing it here. Watch him hit both free throws now. Yes, I did it. The reverse jinx. Go to Deadman right there. Oh, Deadman lost it. Now we're not in a good spot. Wilcox, yes, with the recovery there. That was almost a failed possession. Tyus Jones now in for Minnesota as we're inside five minutes. Sarich, he's tired. Oh, intercepted! We can give this up to Brogdon. Oh, Kogi! Come on! No, give me that. Wilcox. Foul and one! And Okogi's out of here! Frederick Wilcox ties the game. Frederick Wilcox gives us the lead. Down to Wiggins again. Deadman with decent defense. No good on the shot. Can we build up a lead now? I'm tired of this whole maybe get the lead and then immediately give it up stuff. Not really what I find fun. Patty Mills on Tyus Jones. Yes! Oh, we did it again! Come on, Frederick! Am I supposed to switch? Because I feel like that's a bad idea. Maybe it is me, because Wilcox has done that four times. Either he's made the same mistake four times, or I have. I'm willing to... You know, assume it was me who made the mistake if it was that many times. Oh, speaking of Wilcox, I haven't taken a, a three with him in a while. Brogdon's right there, but we threw a pick. Oh, no. Wiggins pulls up. It's a two. Almost got called for goaltending. We have to cover Wiggins, but we didn't. And then they nail a three with somebody else. Just a few minutes to go in this game. Thank you, Wilcox. Give it to him now. Shooting over Tyus Jones, but Deadman is there. Come on, guys. Go, 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 
Oh, what was that? What was that pass, Seth? That was ridiculous. I can't believe I just passed it there. I wanted to give it to Wilcox. Look at him back down. He can't do it. Patty Mills. Okay, we have a mess here. We need to make something happen quickly. All right, he's set up on the wrong side. Wilcox just throws it up. That was a terrible possession. Oh, man. I want to make Curry pay for that pass. And now trying to spin on Brogdon. Good job. Just drawing the foul. Maybe I should be calling some plays for Frederick Wilcox because we're just not getting him the opportunities naturally that I want him to have. Four-point game now. All right, two minutes on the clock. Brogdon to Deadman. That'll do. 87-85. There we go. Good defense. We're staying sound on this possession. Seth driving. Kicks to Wiggins in the corner. And we got the rebound. That was a big miss. We got really lucky, too, because he was wide open. Here's Wilcox. Yes, he ties it up again. Come on, defense. Let's lock down here. Wiggins has it. Jones. Oh, it's picked. He wanted Tyus Jones, Brogdon on Curry, and too easy. Got to take advantage of turnovers, no matter the sport, I know that. Wiggins draws the foul and won! Oh man, this is wild. Oh, Wiggins missed it, we're still tied. Hail Mary to Brogdon. To Crowder. Come on. They're going to forget about Mills right here. It's a three. Yeah. Knock it down, Patty Mills. Under a minute to go. And what a time for a perfect release. Oh, that's intercepted. Patty, let's go. Give me that. No way. No way. Should I have done something different there? Or was that the right choice? Minnesota cuts it to a one-point game when we were so close to making it a five-point game. Oh, it's an emotional roller coaster here late. Brogdon against Curry, trying to break some ankles. No, we cannot do it. All right. I need to get something here, guys. I'm down to five seconds. What can we do? Give it to Wilcox. That is going to fall. And the rookie makes it a three-point game again. Got to watch for Wiggins. I think that's the easy uh, person to watch here. Or even uh, Seth Curry. Wiggins, 10 seconds. Dario can pull up as well. He will right now. And loose ball foul on Minnesota. Just got to inbound this cleanly. Tyus will foul. I should have had Brogdon there, but Mills was closer. We can't even shoot yet. I'm not sure how far away we are from the bonus. Brogdon, run. Wait, I almost had like a backcourt violation. All right, let's put out a reach right here, Malcolm. Oh. Oh. There we go. Four-point game. Just a couple seconds left. Guys, I've done it again. I've helped win a game. We defeat Minnesota 95-91. I knew without Carl Anthony Towns we had a chance. I felt like defensively they didn't stress us out as much, although Andrew Wiggins had a really good game. And now I'm contemplating again moving back um, Frederick Wilcox, the small forward. I'm not sure if that would uh, be a good move or if I just need to stick with where he's at. You can let me know in the comments. But that one felt pretty good right there. 21 points for Brogdon, 20 for Wilcox, who I think finished pretty strong for us and did so without really using the three-point shot when I was playing. It was more so under the basket for him, so that was impressive. Jay Crowder had 14, Mills 11, and we had some key turnovers and plays late that helped us get this victory. We're actually approaching the All-Star break here pretty soon, so we're making good progress. We'll be on to year two before you know it. We are still the last place team after defeating the second to last place team. 
And in the East, how is Pittsburgh doing right now? 29 and 20. They're not bad at all. In the power rankings, the Celtics are on top. Frederick Wilcox is still leading our team in scoring per game. For defensive rebounds, Dwayne Dedman 6.8. How about steals? Brogdon averages over one per game. That's nice. We don't get a ton of blocks overall. But yeah, that was a fun episode today. Nice finish to it once again. Hope you're enjoying the action, everybody. Please leave a like if you are. One more thing, actually. I'll check on the G League numbers. I'm feeling outraged about everything that's been happening. There is no good reason why I'm down in the G League right now. I'm an NBA player. I'm sorry, Casey. I've had enough of San Diego. I'm signing with a new team this offseason. Whoops. What have I done? He's averaging 22 points a game in the G League. He's played 19. He's hitting three points at a ridiculous rate. I think next episode, everybody, we're calling up Casey because I've got to salvage his morale the rest of the season. I don't want to let this guy go. This was a really good second round pick for us in a league where it's hard to get impact from your second round picks. I've got to get Casey up here. I've got to turn it around. You know, it's sunny in San Diego. You're going to get the ball. You're going to love it. It's going to be just fine. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And please leave your feedback because without it, I'd be lost. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.